Hello, darlings. This is Annette of AnnetteLeonard.com, back with Chronic Wellness. So it is the first week of June, and June is Pride Month, and I am queer, so happy Pride. And I thought that this week I would talk to you a little bit about families of choice. So I've talked some on this channel about my family of origin and in many ways I was blessed with a secure and loving home. And when I came out, it was not a welcome thing. <laughs> It was not a welcome thing. And that was, to some of our extended friends and family, a surprising fact. Um, if you have paid attention for long on this channel, you know that I come from a pretty left-leaning liberal family who in the late 60s, early 70s, decided to expand their family by adoption. And I am the only white kid in my family. So my parents um, stood up to extended family members of theirs who said, hey, why would you adopt black and brown children? And, um, and really, really went through some of their own processes around anti-racism and yet, <laughs> that was not something that they were as prepared or as equipped to deal with when it came to having a queer kid. And, and so for many, many years, my mom and I in particular struggled against the ways in which her upbringing in the South and in the church led her to believe that my love was inferior, my love was wrong, my love separated me from the love of God, and, and in many ways uh, caused rifts in our relationship. And because of that, I, at a young age, started turning to friends to become my family of choice. And this was very recently brought to mind by an experience that I had with my nephew, um, who reached out to me last weekend in a state of distress <laughs> after having an awful experience with my dad, with his papa, who's experiencing dementia and um, has misremembered some things about him. And in comforting and standing up for and uh, really just trying to love up on my nephew, saying to him the things that I most needed to hear at his tender age of 23, which is, I love you. I love you unconditionally. We are lucky to trust and know and care for each other as much as we do as family members. And not all of our family, <laughs> is here for us in all these ways. And that's why I built a family of choice. And you get the privilege of doing the same. You can draw toward you the people you want in your life, the people you name to be your family, the people you choose as your own. Some people are lucky enough to be born with those that they call kin from the day they come into this world until the day they go out of this. And many of us aren't. And so, assemble yours. Assemble 
the maternal figures, the aunts and the uncles, the cousins and the siblings that you wish you'd been born to. Name them, tell them they are your beloved. And I think that that is one of the many lessons that I have learned um, from having been part of <laughs> the rainbow pride flag is that many of us can't count on our biological families or our families of origin to be family for us. And so we've gone out and built our own. And I think the same is true of chronic disease and chronic pain that the people we thought we could rely on, the people we expected we could rely on, the people who were the most logical choices to be depended on are not necessarily the ones who are built for the distance. And so find those who are, and they're out there. Sometimes they're already in your friendship circle. Sometimes they're online. Sometimes they're in the meditation group or the support group or in your online forums but they're out there and you are worth, you are worth finding them. So if you haven't yet found them, the word that's operational there is yet. <laughs> Continue looking. And if you're not sure where to start, start with me. Um, I have many ways that you can be in touch with me and, and I will respond. So start with me because we are worth having family of choice. Um, if it isn't the family of origin that can be counted on and pride month helps remind me of that because I have a lucky few members of my family of origin who have shown up and shown out for me. And I have a very many number of extended family members of choice. Some that I grew up with and that my parents introduced me to and some are aunts and uncles and cousins and some are people that I met at college and at work and along the way. And so if you have love in your heart to give, you will find people to love and who will love you back. So happy Pride Month. And I'm thinking about you. And I love you. Thanks for being here. And until we're together again, be well. <laughs>